Hello, I'm back. This is part four of working on a peacock journal. My cover should be dry. So we should be able to stitch all of our signatures in now and get working. Let me get my laptop going so I can see what I'm doing here. See what you guys see. All right. So our journal, is, our journal cover is nice and dry. So now we need to poke our holes with this. And this is our template showing the eight spots for the signatures. So we grab our little phone book here. Now make sure I get the front and the back. And I, I generally mark these to where this spot here shows the top that keeps me on track on what I'm doing. So let's see. This was the front. Or was this the front? Better figure that out before I go any further. Okay, so this was my front. And basically what I'm going to do is sit here and stab it. This is a time where you can get all your aggravations out and take it out on this. I use an ice pick. Um, you can use a little punch from your husband or spouse or your woodworking kit or wherever. You can get these at Walmart, Hobby, or at Walmart. This came from, you can probably find these at Walmart right now with the ice cream machines and stuff. So let me get a couple clips to hold that in because I don't want this moving. And actually, let me just mark it. And then I won't have to worry about it moving. So grab my little permanent marker. Make sure this is all centered. My end frame. Is that being goofy? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so make sure this is going to hold completely still. And I'm just going to mark all my spots, and then I can go back and stab them. Now, what's nice about this template, I didn't buy it, I made it, is I decided I wanted something permanent because I hate math. And I hate measuring. So I made these all on paper and then I transferred it over to um, acrylic. So when I go to do a journal, it's already done. Let me get these marked. Pay attention to what I'm doing because I don't want to make a mistake. It's already done. I don't have to sit there and do any figuring. Um, I think I got this at Walmart. You can get, I think it's a pack of 25 of these acrylic sheets. And this is just blue plastic on it. You just peel it off. Um, it's just a plastic. It just peels off and you're left with a clear acrylic. But I left it on until I made all my markings on this and, and punched it, and then I ripped it off. But I made these because I hate math. I hate measuring. And created all of these different ones, different binder or um, spine measurements. And then how many holes each had. So it made it really easy for me just to pick 
whatever spine I wanted and my holes would already be centered, matched. Makes it super, super easy to just pull a template and go. And I just keep those clipped together and they don't get lost and super easy. If I do have to make a new one, then I always make a, an acrylic one of it just in case I need it again. That's how I roll. All right, so we've got our holes. And basically, you're just going to stab it. You're just going to put your little punch there and push. Now, this is going to be kind of tough because we're going through two layers, three, actually three layers of fabric and our cardboard. And see here, it comes out on this side. Can you see that? Probably not. But right there it is. And we'll have eight rows of this. So there's a lot of punching. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Donna Joe. I'm sitting here punching. Now, I wouldn't use a crop dial, crop a dial for this because these holes, as you can see, you can barely see them. If you use a crop a dial, um, the smallest set of the crop a dial. Let me pick something white here so you can see this. The smallest hole of the crocodile dial is actually that big. So you wouldn't want to use a crocodile dial to make your holes. So sorry, there's really not a shortcut to this at all. You just make your holes. And I just use a phone book because I don't want to ruin anything. And who uses a phone book anymore for anything, really? You can get online and look things up. No, Donna, no crocodile. No crocodile. No, no, no. Now, if you use using maybe a twine that was really big and thick, that's going to fill that hole up. But you, you don't want your journal pages to slide around. Um, I can't remember. Donna Jo, did you take uh, Brenda Berry's class on gypsy journals? I think she had. No, I think she had an ice pick. I can't remember if she had an ice pick or a crocodile. There is going to be so many holes because this, this row right here of five holes is going to hold one signature. And there is eight signatures of seven pages going into Robin's journal. It's going to be a chunky monkey. Now, putting holes in the paper isn't as hard as doing this. Well, Brenda Berry did a class on gypsy journals at May May Made It Con in um, Fort Worth, Texas. For those of you who don't know what that is. Um, and she has the YouTube channel. You should really go check her out. But anyway, I'll pop this down here and you can kind of look at it as I'm doing this. Here is Brenda Berry's version of a gypsy journal. She did a leather, I don't know, just a twine, not twine, just a, a leather strap. And it's really thick. You could get, you could get by with doing a crop on something that big because that's a pretty thick one. 
but anyway, Brenda Berry's kind of went something like this. It was a soft cover. And then she used this extra, let's see, I think it goes this way. And then hers just tied like this. And she made hers, my gosh, I think they were like 12 or 15 inches tall and probably 10 to 12 inches wide. She made great big ones. But that was her version of a journal. It wasn't something that you would carry around um, in your backpack or purse. Or She used it for different vacations that she went on. I think I did talk about Brenda Berry's. It's either the first or second video. And I actually put a link. It doesn't allow me to put a link when I go live, but I can go back and I edit it in the, con the description. It'll allow me to do that then. And I put a link either on one or two of Brenda Berry's. She doesn't have a channel. She did it through May May Made It, but of her Gypsy Journal YouTube video. And she shows, hmm, I don't know, four or five of her gypsy journals and real quickly how she made them she didn't do one on air but she showed how they were constructed and they made you think of like real boho type thing yeah you saw one yeah she had them out front where you could where you could see brenda berries and see this one is a hard cover Brenda's isn't. And I like both kinds, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be wore out. Let me tell you, let me flip this around. You could use a, a hammer. Um, well, what you could do, Gwen, is instead of using that thick cardboard, you could use cardstock underneath this. And it would make it a whole lot thinner and easier to do. I did a real quick video. Um, Oh, I don't know, three or four days ago on binding a book. And I just used a cereal box. Now, if I had to put paper on this, it would have been a whole lot easier. I'm putting fabric on this, so that makes it a little tougher. There is easier ways to get around it. And maybe, you know, your journals... If you don't have the strength to do what I'm doing, then maybe the type of journals that you need to do is like Brenda Berry's, the gypsy journals, to where you didn't have, you could use a, a crocodile to poke your holes and use a leather cord or, hmm. It seems like she even used a uh, like a thin belt in one of hers. <laughs> I got two more holes to go. <laughs> two more holes. Okay. Good grief. Alrighty. Done. Phew. But now that my holes are all there, let me check and make sure what was the front and the back. Okay. So it goes like that. Now I need to make, and I can use a crocodile for this. I need to make a hole for my little door knocker to hang my charms from. Phew, that did wear me out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in now so it's not in my, so my signatures aren't in the way of me being able to, to slide that puppy in there. So it's just a regular crocodile. This is the big one, and I want to make sure that I'm using the smallest 
Oh, where am I at? The smallest pokey hole thing. And I want that to be pretty close to the front or to the top of my book. So I'm thinking, oops, that's not the middle though. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Better center it, huh? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it'd be right there. Wasn't that so much easier? All righty. So I'm going to slide that in. Turn this around so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And I'm going to take a pair of scissors and snip that away. All that little fabric. So I can see what I'm doing. Okay. There is a screw head there, or a shaft. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow glue on there because I don't want that puppy to get loose on me. Here we go. And put this on. Screw it on nice and tight. Right, bring a screwdriver. Let me see if I got a screwdriver so I can get that nail head to screw really tight. I don't think I'll be able to get back in there to straighten it out. So I want to make sure that my little door knocker charm piece is hanging down. And then come over here. I think this is too big. No, I can still get in. Okay. There we go. Done. So now I have a cute little place here at the top to hang tassels, charms, and make sure that's going there. A little door knocker is what I call it. <laughs> How cute is that to have a little knocker? Okay, let's get the inside put together. Stop fooling around here. Let's see. All right, so now the inside of our book is these. Let's start with, let's start with this one that says, actually I can. Okay. And that wiggled on me, I believe. No, it didn't. I thought it did. I was going to be angry with it. So I'm just going to randomly pick a hole here. Line those up going. I don't know if you can see this, the middle seam. There we go. Ready to put it in. Let me get my needle, my thread. Where'd my blue cording go? There's too much on my desk. Too much, too much, I say. I'm going to use this lovely teal. And I just see a little darning needle. 
get the screwdriver out of the way. Now this is waxed cotton cord. It helps it go through the paper. We can get rid of the phone book for a minute till the next one. Now we want to go approximately three times the length of the book, just like so, and chop it. There we go. And I want my, my tails to be on the inside of the book. So I'm going to start at the inside of my book. See, and I just went through here, come out there. I'm thinking this needle is a little too big for the holes. So let me pick out a smaller one. We have a variety here. No reason to make it rough. Wish YouTube would let you play music or something. Sometimes it's so quiet. All right. There we go. Much easier. Now what I do, so I don't have to keep track of this because I need to keep this to tie off, is I just tuck it, that tail, underneath there. And then I don't have to worry about that tail coming back out. So I'm going to pull this over. Now I am on, here's one, two, I'm on the second hole. So I want to come over here and I want to go one, two holes down and go through. Once you get the holes done, the holes poked, the rest of it goes pretty easy. It's just getting those holes done. So if it's something that you can't do yourself, you could see if somebody would do it for you. Because once the holes are done, it is super easy. You're just threading it through. And then I want to go back up through the third one. And don't worry about it being loose. When we get the book a little further along and get this all sewed, then we can go ahead and start pulling it tight. But for now, and that's why you give the extra length is so you can wiggle your book around and, and manage to get it all through your holes without too much trouble. and go back out and go back in. Our last hole down here, whoops, needle fell out. Do you see for the extra holes? <laughs> she picked out a lot of papers. I don't think she realized how much work that was going to be but that's okay all right so now i'm down here at the bottom so now i'm going to go back up to this next hole and i should say when you're poking this through make sure you ain't stabbing the other thread because that's going to hinder you trying to tighten your book you want to come beside it not through it of that other thread and then through that hole See, it comes out there. Then back through this hole. When you're done, you're going to have a straight line of teal thread coming through on the front and the back. And I'll show you just here in a second. It's kind of hard to see on that one. I'll show you on the outside. See how you got a straight line of threading and it'll continue up to these other two holes. That's why we picked out a uh, color that complements our book. We stuck with the teal 
All right, so now I can start pulling some of this a little tighter so I can get into the top. So I just keep pulling it a little tighter. Pull from the outside, pull from the inside. There we go. And that gave me some more space to finish. Oh, let's see. Did we come out? Okay, so we need to go through this one. Oh, we still got a bunch out here. Need to pull that through. And then we're gonna go through our last hole at the top and we're almost ready to tie it off and tighten it. Tighten it and then tie it off. Whoops, I'll get them all. And there we go. Now, pull my needle out take this clip off. We can take all of our clips off now. This will be our first page, first signature in our journal. And so now with these ends, I don't want to pull like this, like you're tying shoes or pull it in the opposite directions. I want to pull this one this way and this one this way, and I want to give it a good tug. It should be nice and tight. If it's not, then I need to, to tighten it up some more. So I'm going to keep pulling and then check my rear of the book here. Make sure those that one's loose. So let me pull on that one a little bit more. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these off, but I'm going to make sure that the tie stops here. That way I have tails and I will tell you why here in a second. What's nice about the waxed thread is it kind of sticks to itself so I don't have to put my finger here to tie it off and I want to put about two more knots in it so I want to make sure that that doesn't ever come loose now I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it right there so now I've got two tails Wait till you see what I do here. Fun, 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 fun. Let me find a flower punch. I like the little flowers. And here's some wipe off on an index card. And I'm just going to punch me out a couple of flowers. One like that. I need four flowers. Let's do a green one. That's really what I should have done. Just so they'd stand out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I needed to do. Because I needed to do some green ones. Or a different color. You ain't going to see them on there, are you? Let's see what other colors I got up here. I have... I have some bright blue here. That's what we need. We need them to stand out. Um, right 
here. Barbecue at a restaurant. Good golly molly. <laughs> so I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to lay, lay them like this. And I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow glue. Get this. I need more. I need more glue. My glue is going to run out. And I'm going to put a little dot right there in the center of that flower. And a little dot in the center of that flower. Then I'm going to take this little wax cord and I'm going to put it right there. And this little wax cord right there. Whoops, get back here. And then I'm going to put another little drop of glue on top because I want to make sure that's really going to stick. And let's see, here's our other little blue flowers. And I'm just going to sandwich that cord right there in the middle of that. And right here's our other one. Anybody else get the shakes when they're trying to do something real tiny and tedious? Then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to give it a good healthy squeeze. Because I don't want that to come undone. So now there's some little paper charms inside of the book. Just gives it a little bit more oomph. So look at that. She's got some cute little paper charms that hang down inside of her book. Or she could use them as... Oh, I'm working on this page and put it there because then it's going to show up here at the top. Or she can just leave them like this as paper charms. Or if she doesn't like them, she can take her scissors and pull it up and just whack it off and not have any charms. But most people like the little paper charms. They're just kind of cute. I do. I like the little paper charms. Yay. So anyway, our first one is sewed into the book. What do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? And I don't have her jewelry charms yet, but this is one of her tassels that's gonna be hanging off of her little door knocker thing. And I'm sure I could dig up some pretty little mm, teal, pink, um, blue, gold beads to make a bead strand, although I don't, I don't want to cover this up if I can help it because it's that color. I just like that color. So I'll make her charms till about here, whatever I use. How cool is that? I love it. Now, seven more to go. <laughs> seven more to go. And you thought this was easy. Oh my. Hi, Patricia. You snuck in on me. I didn't see you. <laughs> I try not to ignore anybody. All right, so where's my stencil? There it is. Mark the spots, line up a row. That looks good right there. Can I actually, let me just line them up in here. That would probably be easier than, then I know for sure that they are going to be matching with this one. There we go. Perfecto. More than one way to skin a cat. That's what my grandma used to say. Put a little dot there. Little dot there. Little dot there. Little dot there. And a little dot there. My name is Lois. 
my name is Lois. All right, so now for the stabbing again. You didn't know you was watching such a violent YouTube. And this is just, Patricia, you just stepped in. This is just an ice pick. Um, like you'd use for homemade ice cream to stab the ice to break it up. And I went through my book already. You missed that part, but I'm just doing each signature as I go along because it wears a girl out. Alrighty, so we decided that the small needle worked better. Where'd our thread go? Just remember, Superman's girlfriend. All right, so we're gonna go three, three lengths of our book, and that works out about right. Um, to stitch your book up, because see, I only wasted this much. And this ain't wasted. You know me, I ain't throwing it away. This is the perfect size to use in, in a couple of buttons. And I do have some really cute buttons. I was going through my buttons and that color would be perfect. Or I have some darker ones that would probably fit better with this lighter blue, but that would be perfect for the button ties. Don't know yet where I'm gonna put them, but All right. Oh, for good sakes. Come on, get in there. All right, that didn't work. So, I'm going to cheat, slide that in, love needle threaders, and pull it through. For those of us who can't see or aren't steady anymore, that is perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, now remember we want our tail to be on the inside of the book. So that is where we're going to start to do our sewing. You know what, guys? I never looked to make sure that this was right side up. Ah, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> I seen that and see that. I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> Always check and make sure that you're putting your, paint, your signature in right. <laughs> listen to me i know what i'm doing <laughs> all right and once again we're just going to slide that little tail underneath there that way you don't have to worry about it sneaking back away from us bring this over and this will go into the second row of holes and we started on one to the second hole down so we want to go in this next row on the second hole and shove it through now after you watch me do this eight times this should really stick in your in your head and so then we're going to come down to our next hole which you can't hardly see but there is a hole there i swear there is here it comes through And come into our next hole in our signature. Thank you, Patricia. I love these colors. And if you didn't catch it, what it is, is the pearlescent Doc Martens. There's another brand that, um, could you see that if I wasn't holding it still and tapping it? There's another brand. Any of the liquid acrylic inks will work. You just wet down your paper, water it down really, not sopping, but very moist. I like that word, moist. 
and um, put it put it on something where the ink isn't going to hurt, and then just start dropping the ink randomly, just like I did on the inside cover on this fabric. Now what it does on paper instead of fabric is that it all bleeds together. All right. So once again, now that we're down here at the end, we're going to go back up. You want to make that continuous line with your thread. It's a dotted line going one way, and then you fill it in coming back through. And go in our hole. Go into our next hole. It's just a bunch of back and forth. You ever do those lace-up cards when you was a kid? with some yarn and with some holes in it you just went in and out in and out basically the same thing you're just going in and out in and out all right so now that i've got my continuous line going this way i can go ahead and tighten this stuff up before i get too far and so let me give it a good tug and try to tighten some of that up That way I've got enough to work on for the top part. You don't want to tighten it up all the way because then you won't be able to get in here to put your stitches back in. You got to have that little tiny bit of leg room. Get your hand in here and finish doing your business. I see, wait a minute. Yeah, that goes there. Alrighty, into this hole, come out there, then back through the spine, and see right there I was stabbing my thread and that's something you don't want to do. So pull that thread out of the way. All right, and then we're going to go into our last little hole here. Come out there and slide this up a little bit there and then go into the top hole of your of your signature and this is your last stitch there it is now i can pull this darning needle off i can take my clips off Now it comes to tightening all this up so I can give it all a good yank and tighten this all up. Oh, that one's still loose. So let's see what's going on on the back side. Because you want these nice and tight, and this is the only chance you're going to have to get these tight. I suppose if your book was already done, that one's still loose. Oh, I got it. You could go back through and re-sew it, but I wouldn't want to. Generally, when I'm done with a book, I'm done. I don't want to, oops, I don't want to go back through and have to redo something on it. Okay. Now I want to tie these to where it ends up up here. And 
give it two more good knots. And then we'll put some flower charms at the end, some paper charms to make it pretty. And I think I want to make these a separate. Make that one that length and that one that length. So they ain't overlapping quite so much. All right, so we have a brown background. So we can use these blue ones this time. And these were just with a paper punch. And we're gonna put these down with a little drop of our Tumbo glue. And you seriously could use any kind of glue. I don't see why you couldn't. Little drop of glue. Put that end right there. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and put the other drop of glue in the flower on so it doesn't get away from me. <laughs> you little bugger. It doesn't know where it needs to be. Okay. Now I can manipulate it and straighten it out a little bit to where my flowers aren't so wonky. Give it a good squeeze. Here we go. Put our little end in there. And this little flower. Now that one went together quite well. Knock on wood, I ain't done yet. There we go. Now they hang a little separate from each other. Two signatures done. Oops. Holy cow. That's a lot of signatures. <laughs> let's see, we did a green. Now let's see what color we should put up next to it. Guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Really doesn't matter. Guess we'll do this one. And make sure that we're right side up when we go ready to put this in. All right, so let me make my little marks. Was this right side up? Right side up or upside down? It's upside down. There we go. Where'd our marker go? You guys are so quiet. What the heck? That was right side up, right? Let me find some words in here somewhere. I know there's words. There's always words somewhere. Yes, that was right. Now's a heck of a time to look, isn't it? Alrighty. Grab a phone book, take our aggravations out.
make our holes. Your mouth is full. <laughs> oh, that's right. You talk and type. Or what do they call it? Talk to text or something like that. I forget that. Every time I try to do that, it tells me I'm saying something way off base. It's like, whoop, that's not what I'm meant to say. All right, we still right side up. Yes, ma'am. All right. Next. We didn't have much waste with that one. That's okay, Patricia. Just go ahead. I just don't want to bore you guys to death. Do our three lengths and snip it. There's my needle. Now I'm not even going to fool with it this time. I'm just going to wipe the old wax off of there from the last sewing. I'll take my old lady needle, <laughs> needle threader. You do what works and pull it through. Pull through. Uh oh, what's the deal? Rut row, get through there. This is the needle I was using, right? <gasps> Do you see what I just did? <laughs> uh oh. Houston, we got a problem. <laughs> I just broke it. <laughs> Well, doggone it. On the plus side, that is a really cool embellishment, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, so now I gotta really concentrate to put that through there. Hey, hey look at that, first try. I'm telling you, a little bit of glitter, stamp an initial on there or something rather. That's a cool embellishment. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm not the only one, Patricia. That's funny. <laughs> only that would happen when you're on live, right? Wouldn't happen when you're not on camera to break something. <laughs> And I've yet to do a live video where I haven't had to go up and, whoops, I got to go get this. I forgot that. All right, leave our tail. And just so I don't have to keep track of it, I just kind of tuck it underneath that clip there. Because my luck, I would forget it. All right, so we want the tail to go on the inside. So the inside is where we start stitching. And the reason why I say that, let me tell you is if you started and i've seen people that do this they don't have this door knocker thing to hang their tassel and their charms from so they start their stitching here's row one there's row two they start their stitching on the outside and where we are tying off here at the top they tie off at the top up here then they take all of their little tails after they've tied and they hang their charms and stuff off of them so you got a row of hanging charms. I like this little doorknob. I thought they were door adorable to hang something from. I can center it. And on the outside, all I'm going to see is these lines that match her journal. So that's what I decided to do. Not that that's the way it's always done. The majority of the people, they start on the outside and have their tails on the outside. Uh, I can use a sliver of paper folded a couple. I don't know if you could do that or not, Donna. 
All right, so we're on the second hole down. So we're going to start on the second hole in our next row, which is there. And it's just lacing again, just back and forth. Your biggest problem is that it wants to get hooked on your clips. Bring this down. And then we're going to go into our next hole right there. Pull that out. Get the index card out of the way. And go into our next hole in our signature, which I can see that. I'm sure you guys can't, but there's our next hole. And if you got the strength, you could poke these holes with your needle as you go. I don't have that strength. So I tend to stab a phone book. And Gwen, it really doesn't take a lot of strength. I've got a very bad back and not a lot of upper body strength. And I literally just kind of lean into it is what I do. This stuff really isn't that tough. It, but if you used a thinner cardboard and like I said, and used paper instead of cloth, it would be easier to go through. All right, so in our last hole down here, sometimes that fabric goes back together and it's hard to see where the hole is. I think it's right there. Is it coming through? Yep. Yeah. And the sewing helps if you do use a waxed cotton or a waxed leather. Yeah, I, I'd rather have my my tail on the inside. Most definitely. I like the little charms, paper charms. You could do butterflies. I don't really think butterflies goes with her peacock. So I figured that I would use flowers instead. Okay, back into this one. Okay, so now I need to tighten that bottom up a little bit before it gets too far away from me. Because I've only got two more stitches to go on this one. And down through that hole out of this one and I think these lines are pretty I wouldn't want to have knots at the top but that's just me I just don't like it okay all right now take these clips off. And the job of tightening up all of our strings. Seems like this bottom one is always loose, always. Never fails. So let me see what it's doing out here. Yep, loose. So let me 
get it tightened up out here. Go back in. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. Okay. I like about three knots, so I know it ain't going to come loose. And I think I like that staggered look, so I'm going to make these not the same. Oh, that's, yeah, that's probably good enough. And I have another button string. Pretty pretty. I think I'll dig up some darker blue buttons. And there is three signatures then. Let's see, this is blue. What color do I have? Um, I don't know if I can get, well, this one has some yellow in it. Let's see if we can't get some yellow flowers. There's one. Two, um, three, four. My tumbow glue. Do you take a hammer to it? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me nervous just doing it i'm afraid that i'm gonna slip and end up stabbing myself in the tummy or something rather i stand up when i do it though i don't sit down but i just lean forward into it and so far i've been lucky enough that it just uh it goes through so there you go gwen Somebody who has taken a hammer to it. <laughs> I'm pretty chicken. Get on there. And then another little drop of glue to make sure that it seals. And throw another little flower on it. There we go. And then our next one, and all I'm doing is taking my finger now and flattening that out because it kind of gets rid of the bulk because it's got wax on it, don't forget. So you should be able to flatten it out. That way you don't have that big bulk in the middle of your flower. And then another little drop of glue, put our last little flower on. Now, let me squeeze them real good. There we go. Can you take it to the garage? I guess one's garage is messy. I wouldn't take anything to his garage. <laughs> but then he thinks my, my craft room is messy, so I don't know. That's fun. All righty. Next. Did I decide I was going to do this one next? Make sure that that is all right side. I'm always worried that I'm going to put her in upside down. Okay, so do I want purple next to the purple? I guess this doesn't make any difference because our next one is purple. Don't really make any difference, does it? Alrighty, set this to the side, drag out the, oh, we didn't mark it yet, did we? 
All right, so is this upside down? Okay, it's like this. Grammar, little permanent marker. Now, set that to the side. A stab and we will go. A stab and we will go. I hold the Dario. I better stop singing. Yahoo doesn't like music that it thinks might be copyrighted. So it means I can't listen to music and jam out, which I think is terrible. I can't sing the songs. See you later, Donna Jo. Thank you. Okay. Grab our little darning needle and our waxed thread three times the length hmm, let me see if I flatten it out if I can slide that in better it's got a lot of wax in there it's probably what's keeping me from being able to slide it through. It's not because I'm blind or anything, right? Not because I'm old. Or that I got bifocals. I don't know if you could do hymns or not, because they're actually wrote by somebody. But I try to keep... I try, try, try to keep my channel politics and religion free so I'm not offending anybody so no I probably couldn't see them okay so that's right side up get our phone book out of the way get through there Pull it through. Catch my tail. It has managed to catch another piece of thread. And clip it underneath here so it doesn't run away. And we're going one, two, the second hole in our next row. There it goes. And coming down to our next hole. It's just like lacing that we did when we was kids. I think we had like shoestrings or really thick yarn that we laced back back in the days hopefully that's not saying how old i am okay let's go into our next full here come back out Go back in. Let's see. Mm hmm. I 
think I'm getting faster. <laughs> Trying to think when was the last time I made a journal journal besides the example I did. Um, this example or the gypsy journal. Um, not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before. I think I made five that year for Christmas gifts. See, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I don't know where I'm at. Am I going back out? Yep. Going back out. And then I just kind of got out of the swing of making them. Kind of took a break from crafts altogether until March. And I decided that I needed to get back into it. I'd come in here and make an ATC card or something. Painting papers or something. All right, so we are in the middle. So before I get too far, I want to tighten these all up. Because it's easier to do it now. Here we go. Must all be hanging on the outside. Yep. All right. There we go. Journal's starting to get fat, so it's kind of hard. I may cut my next string just a little bit bigger so I've got more room to play with. What did I just do? I tried to cheat. Look at that. Now, what's nice about it, here we go. I got a mistake. Instead of going into this hole, I decided I was just going to skip and go to the next one. What is nice about this wax thread is. I can just pull it right back through because I didn't make a hole specifically for that stitch. So I can just pull my needle back out and do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is going into this hole. So you can get sidetracked. Just just stick with me, you'll get sidetracked. All right. Then go into this hole. Come back out that hole. There we go, right there. And go into our last Pull it at the top with all this paper flipping back and forth. You're probably getting seasick or dizzy or something. Paper sick. You're getting paper sick. <laughs> and take our needle off. Take our clips out. And time to pull on our paper. That last stitch, it's always the worst one. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. By golly, I think I am getting quicker. And tie that one nice and tight. 
That one's not going to be a very long tail. I wonder what happened there. It's going to be a short tail. I like this one a shorter tail. And I got more string from my button. All right. So now this is a really dark. So I need some really vibrant paper. So let's see what I got here for a jelly paper that I can pick on. It's going to be noisy up here for just a second. Ooh, wait till you see what I got. How bright do we want our flowers? Beyond! <laughs> let's do some. Let's do some yellow. Some yellow, yellow. I like the yellow. Whoops. To be honest, I'm not even sure where that one went. Yeah, that's going to stand out. There we go. I caught that one before it got too far away. Okay. Let's see, our Tombow glue. It's starting to get warm for me. This is a lot of work. It is bright. You're definitely going to see those little charms. All right. So put a little glue in the middle of our little flowers. I guess that paper charm is going to be way up there. Let me flatten out the ends. There we go. And that one stuck to my finger. No, that wasn't the one I had the glue on. Okay. And oops. Okay, now let me squeeze them tight. There we go. Another signature in. A little bit of glue on the paper. We don't want that. Those are nice and bright. You will definitely see those little paper charms. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Alrighty, that's half of our signatures. There are still four more to fit in there. Thank you. Here's what our outside looks like. I'm loving this. I am so loving that. I'm so glad that I picked this color. But when this gets done, it is going to be a very chunky journal. So ladies, I think I'm going to get off of here and do the other four later on and then when i come back we're going to work on putting tucks 
and um, little pockets. And what I have for that, this is my cheater book. I did not come up with any of these ideas. I'll say that right off the bat. I don't know where they come up with or where I got them from all over watching hundreds and hundreds of videos. But this is my cheater book on how to put flips, little tuck spots. Um, whoops, that came unglued. To put a little tag in there. Here's, you could put a library pocket and have a little miniature library card. Um, this was supposed to have went, let's see. I don't know where that went. Anyway, um, you could put in here the book belongs to. You could have a pocket that goes across the bottom with a little notebook in it. This is just my little cheater book and, and I suggest that you do this. Here's a belly band that a tag goes underneath. It's something to slide in there so you can see what's actually going on. There you go. You could put something underneath here. You can use um, an envelope. It could be a business envelope. Leave the end open so you could slide tags. You could have a belly band, but you could also have it flip open. So these are some of the things that we're going to put into um, Robin's journal. Here's a circle that is a, a pocket that has, um, I think they called this a waterfall tag. So we're going to be doing some of these, not all of them. Here's a waterfall flip, and then it flips this way. Some of the um, extra fabric that we had from trimming off the inside, we'll actually do things like this where she's got little pull tabs um, to mark her spot. There's another option we can do in her book. There is this one where it folds and opens. So each time that um, I watch a video and I see a cool thing that's going on, I'm thinking, I, got, I want to remember that. And we always think we're going to remember it and we write it down. This is what I do anyway. I write it down and then I don't remember what I'm talking about in my notes. What did I mean by it flips open from the side and then goes three ways? That doesn't tell me anything. So literally beside my chair where I'm watching these videos, I um, have some paper. And when I see something on a video, I keep it by putting it in this book somewhere. That way I can use it again. Here's um, an expanded bag, like a little paper sack. There's just so many things. So that's what I do is I put them in here and I write, it's a tag, it's a tuck spot, it's an envelope. It's an uh, envelope, a bag. That way I can remember, here's a paper bag pocket is what it was called. And I'm going to probably get dinged by everybody in the craft industry. I don't know who came up with what. Um, I made the mistake of saying something came from one person and got contacted saying, that was originally my idea, she stole it. So I'm just going to tell you, none of these are my ideas, probably not. Maybe one or two. I wouldn't know which. But um, you can watch journal makers and they have all kinds of ideas. So if I can remember where I got it from, then I'll say it. If I didn't, I'll, I always say these are not my ideas. Because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to tag the wrong person. I don't want to make anybody mad. I thought this one was cute. It's a waterfall pocket is what it was called. And each little thing has a little pocket. So these one papers that I messed up on and wasn't paying any attention 
to what I was actually doing and stamped on the wrong side, one's going this way and one's facing this way, I will use these, I will cut this off and this will be a pocket or I will cut this off right here and use this for a belly band. These didn't go to waste. I'm not heartbroken that, because they're still gonna go in her journal. Um, and if I use this, this part here for a pocket, I can clip this right here and use this as a corner tuck spot. So none of this is gonna go to waste. It's still paper that she picked out. It's beautiful paper. It's not gonna go to waste. I don't waste nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing goes to waste. So later on, um, I will jump on and I will have a bunch of paper already cut to where we can look at this book and assemble into our journal because the other four signatures will be in. This does wear out your hands pulling on them strings. So I'll probably finish this tomorrow and cut out some paper and get ready for part five, I believe. Yeah, part five. And I will wait till we're online to dissect this beautiful, beautiful peacock because that's what we're going to put on the front of the journal. I'll bring this tail up here so we can use it on the journal and we'll do that online. And later on tonight, probably about nine o'clock, I'll be jumping on and doing um, the new thing with, and I can't remember who did it, but I will try to look it up because it's the only one person I saw. They're called ATC coins instead of cards. They're two and a half inches around. Um, I went out and specifically got me a, because it was on sale, at Hobby Lobby, 50% off, I believe, a two and a half inch punch to do these um, ATC coins. And you just do them just like an ATC, only they just look kind of cool. And I think it's going to be the next craze. And I just want to jump in and play with something new and something different and, and get my crafty groove on. And I have a bunch of jelly paper that's nice and bright that I can use in an ATC coin. And that's what I want to do. So I hope you all have a good night. If you're on later and catch me doing this, grab um, some two and a half inch circles, whether you got a punch or you got to have a, a bottom of a cup or something rather about two and a half inch or two inch, whichever you want to work with. Maybe you and I can sit here and work together on these tonight. That would be kind of fun to have somebody do some and tell me how much luck they're having and what they look like. And I will catch you all later. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you hit the bell um, right below my video, it will notify you when I go live the next time. All right, y'all have a good night. See you later, Gwen. See you later, Patricia. Donnie, you missed us. I hope the dog's okay. Happy babysitting. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.